Hey everybody, in this video we're going to talk about how to select the right embroidery software for you and I'm going to show you 10 steps that will help you along with this process. Number one, what do you want to do? Do you want to create monograms? Do you want to just simply add lettering to designs that you buy? Do you want to create your own designs. If you do, then you need a full digitizer package. You need all of the digitizing tools. So although this might be a difficult one, it is the place to start. You also want to make sure that your software can grow with you. So check out the different levels of the software and see how it's going to work for you. But this is the most important thing. Decide what you want to do. If you don't want to digitize, there are lots of options. There are a lot of different things you can do and a lot of programs too. Number two, decide what extra add-ons or fun extra tools that you want to use in the software. So something like Photo Stitch is a great example. Maybe you don't know how to use Photo Stitch, but you'd like to start using it and start learning. So that's also something you can try in, in a free trial. Uh, you can't always stitch it out, but it's worth a try. So kind of look into the different tools and the different extra add-ons, the fun stuff, the stuff that may not be necessary, but are for fun. And that's a good way to narrow down your software as well. On to number three do your own research and legwork. I don't mean exercise at all. I mean, do some research and try to figure out for yourself what exactly you want in your software. Do the research, check out the companies, check out feedback. Uh, personally, when people ask in various groups, what is the best software for me? You can't really answer that because the best software for me is different than someone just beginning. So, and there's no such thing as beginner software, in my opinion, anyways. You can learn any software and make it professional. You can do anything you want with it. So do your own research and do your own legwork. Number four, how much can you spend on software? This is a tricky question. You basically, you get what you pay for. However, that being said, there are some less expensive programs that are absolutely fantastic. Embird, for example. But the other home embroidery software are just about the same price. So you'll have to decide what you can afford. And then that's another option to fit in your software, which one to help you decide which software you're going to get. So know your software, know your pricing. And that is another really good place to start. It helps eliminate some options and bring in other options. Now on to number five, know your price options. A lot of the major embroidery software companies now have different options for payment because they realize two, three, four thousand dollars is a lot to pay for embroidery software once you're starting out. So make sure you know your options, what is available to you. Hatch, for example, has a lot of different options. You can pay monthly and there's a contract for that and i think it's like 99 dollars a month they do have sales on it um but you can also build up your software in brilliance for example you could buy it in different modules depending on what you want to use and what you want to do so you can grow with your software you can start off with a little bit and take it even further now on to number six Use the free trials one at a time. I would suggest, for example, Hatch has a 30-day free tri trial. I'm going to suggest that you use only Hatch for the month and see how you pick up on it. See how easy it works for you. See how much you like it. But really invest that 30 days in it. If you're doing free trials of a whole bunch of different software, you're going to get confused and you're going to get mixed up because you don't know the software very well. So I would suggest one at a time, get through it, work with it completely, and then go on to the next one to try out. 
Number seven, work in the level that you are thinking of purchasing. What I mean by this is, for example, Hatch, if you want to digitize, make sure you're using the digitizer level. That being said, if you're only planning on buying customizer, don't use the digitizer level because there's a lot of tools in there that you won't be getting. I've heard people say, where is this tool? Where is that tool? They were doing the free trial in the digitizer level, which has all the tools, but they only purchased a lower level customizer or personalizer, and they were wondering where the tools were. Well, they're only those certain tools available in digitizer so when you are doing your free trial make sure you're working in the correct level so you won't have any surprises when you actually purchase it it just helps with frustration number eight keep notes what i mean by this is as you're working in the trial software keep a notebook right beside your computer and keep one page for pros and one page for cons so something you really like about the software you write it down something you really dislike about the software you write it down and it can be down to you know these points that help you decide if you want to purchase the software or not if there's a whole page on things you don't like Obviously, that is not the software for you. So this is another very helpful tip that'll help you sort out which software to purchase. Number nine, make sure you like the software. So what I mean by this is make sure you like the interface of the software, where the tools are located, how everything works. Some are more complicated than others, and some people find that it's hard to find tools and they can't remember the shortcuts. So as you're doing your free trial, that is another point to take into consideration. Make sure you like the user interface face of the software. There's a lot of things to take into consideration for that, but just for you, make sure that you really like it and that'll help you make a really good decision. And finally, number 10, learn as much as you can. It's a really good suggestion to help you out with the different trials of the software. Really get involved in what the software can do. It's the only way to learn how to do it properly. So I'm showcasing here my YouTube website. So it's OML Embroidery on YouTube. Subscribe to the channel, like as many videos, and learn as much as you can. You will find it very helpful and it'll help you along with the learning curve of new software. So I hope everyone liked this top 10 video. I hope it helps you decide which so embroidery software that you want and that you will love. So thanks everyone for watching. Uh, don't forget to like and share. I'm sure there's a lot of people who would like, a, you know, a 10 step way of figuring this out. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.